those of you who are joining me looking for inspiration and beauty and grace to add to your home, I welcome you. I am starting Homemaker's Heart. I will be doing cooking and cleaning, decorating, thrifting, so many things that involve homemaking. So come along with me and let's have fun. So first off, I'm gonna start off by saying this was a toy room that I'm in right now. This was actually our garage. Then we made it into a toy room and as my boys got older, we were outgrowing the smaller dining room that is in the house. So I decided to turn this garage toy room into a dining room. So my sister and I got out here and the ceiling was uh, orange peel and it actually still had strips from the garage like a plaster or something that was never even finished. So it looked really bad. I wish I had before pictures to show you. So we got out here and we hand plastered the ceiling and then I called my electrician out and he installed can lights for me. And I had a beautiful vintage chandelier that was hanging in my existing dining room that he hung also. And the walls also were orange peel. So we got out here and hand plastered those as well. I felt like this dining room needed more than just the hand plastered walls. So I had seen on YouTube where you can take these brick panels and create a old like vintage brick wall. So my sister and I got, a, they're like four by eight sheets of just flat brick paneling. And we installed those, cut them down and then took a, like a cement repair kit and mixed it with water. I think some of it was even maybe just seam it. So we started off with like the, the, tr the trowels or trowels, however you pronounce that, where you can scrape it on and that did work, but we ended up literally just using our fingers and our hands and smearing this product on this wall to give it this effect. And it is so beautiful and I really enjoy looking at it. And to me, it has an effect of almost like water in some spots that has ran down over it. So it gives it that kind of outdoorsy look. So I was originally planning on sticking two chairs out here and I was at an estate sale with my sister and we came across this couch and the price was a little high but she came down on it. I think I paid around $120 for it. It is so heavy and so solid that the cushions literally are thick and heavy. And it works beautifully out here with my three boys and having children and it goes really well. And this picture gallery you see right here is prints I have gathered and picked up at either estate sales, thrifting, antique stores. So if they are all secondhand. The baskets, again, these baskets are thrifted. The cute little deck is from, I think my sister Sarah. Uh, this little French lamp a friend of mine gave to me and then this corner I felt like needed more so I picked up this plant and it is doing so well out here he adds a lot to this little space we've got the basket on the bottom which is just a tattered wicker trunk and in comparison to the rest of my house I love this room it 
feels like maybe a lot of my heart is out here. I kept searching for a hutch that would fill this space. This is a very wide wall because again, we are in a garage that is being turned into a dining room. So a very wide wall. I was shopping at an antique store and came across this hutch. And normally I will just buy something like on an impulse. And I went home and thought about it, shared it with my sister. Uh, my other sister was with me when we came across it and kept thinking about it and went down there and we purchased it. She gave me a great deal on it. I only paid $2.50 for this hat. And on these handles, it says the year 1939. And the antique store owner had already told me that she thought this was built just by somebody like not a company. So anyhow, I, we brought it home and it fits beautifully out here. I am so happy. Uh, the little shelves, I did not like at first, but now I love them. They hold my little creamers, uh, these creamers, my teapot, and everything in this hutch is secondhand thrifted estate sale. And the doors on this hutch are amazing. They're very shaker style, and they've got the glass on it. I've got my little... Uh, transferware china in here with the little lamb the little the mama sheep with them the cow creamer i picked up this teapot at an estate sale as well it is ironstone more transferware i don't like to stick to just like one color one element i do like to mix up my house and again, I love this space. When I look out here, it, it gets to my heart. And that's when you really know when you have nailed your decorating is when you love it. So I tell my husband a lot, I feel like I'm at a bed and breakfast or we're like renting, like renting somewhere. Like when you go stay like at a little cottage or a bed and breakfast and I'm just right here at home. And this copper setting, I had just kept gathering and picking up secondhand. Uh, we've got the baskets displayed here on my hutch. The dried flowers, you see, my neighbor was clearing out his flower bed. And so I went over there and rescued these and dried them out. And they add a very great summer touch to this dining room.
these curtains right here, this window lets in a lot of heat in the summer. So I needed something thick like this or something that would keep the heat out. So I found this, this was wool fabric at a thrift store that actually came in a really big piece that my sister and I just cut down and hung right here. So I think it's so neat to have 100% wool curtains out here that I got thrifted. This pantry was here when it was a garage. So it's the same doors, the same hardware, and it's, it's not arrived. This is not exactly what I want. Where I store flour and sugar and my oatmeal and pancake mix and canned goods. So for right now, this is going to work for my dining room. This little step down, I'm in my kitchen and this is a step down area going into my dining room. And it was so ugly. It needed so much uh, texture brought to it. So my sister and I did, we textured it and then we did board and batten and we added the little hooks and these yellow flowers add a little summer touch for my dining room. So my plan for this dining room was I wanted to be able to seat a lot of people. We found a table on Facebook Marketplace that was very long and oval and I thought it was going to work and we brought it here and it just wasn't right. So my sister and I added these planks on top of it and I like the shaker style straight edges and it's kind of crude out here and rustic and it seats, it can seat anywhere from probably eight to 10 people or a family of five. And it adds a very nice rustic touch with the fancy French and English cottage. Yeah. And the chairs you see, we were kind of running out of steam when we were redecorating this uh, dining room or remodeling it. And I didn't feel like painting chairs. Uh, so my sister and I went down to a local thrift store and we were just asking like basically do you have chairs the lady took us upstairs to the storage we were able to come home with i forget how many chairs at that time but and we gathered just these mix match chairs that go so beautifully so rustic the bench is from an estate cell and what is so beautiful about this is if a chair breaks I just go down to a thrift store and grab another chair and bring it home to my table. And the price I paid for these chairs, I can't remember exact, but it was a very good deal. I want to say some of them were around $2.50 a chair. So you just can't hardly go anywhere and get a chair that is beautiful and rustic and adds this much character for such a great price. Behind these linen curtains are my washer and dryer. It's where I do laundry. And the curtains really conceal the space and have a warm vintage look to them.
The floor, we kept cement. We pulled up the carpet and we stained the cement and then we sealed it. And the coldness of the cement, I feel really adds to some of these dressier elements that I have out here. Thank you for joining me for this summer dining room tour remodel. Uh, stick around because there's going to be a lot more thrifting and baking and cooking and cleaning. Just a lot of things that a homemakers do. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and stick around as I create homemakers heart.